Hey everybody, so today I'm gonna do another decluttering video. Today we're gonna declutter my um, drawers right here. Not all of them, we're just going to declutter um, this one that has my nude lipsticks and lip liners, and then this one that has like my colorful lipsticks, and then it also has like random single eyeshadows and things like that, like glitters and stuff. I'm hoping I can consolidate all of my lippies to one drawer. Um, so that's what we're gonna try to do today. This little like set of drawers I just got from uh, Michaels. They honestly aren't very good quality, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend them, but they're basically a dupe for the Alex, like a small version of the Alex drawers because this is the Alex desk from Ikea and then this, these are the drawers from Michaels. So they fit really nicely if you have the Alex desk, desk. So they fit really nicely if you have the Alex desk and they are relatively cheap. So if you're looking for like just a cheap option that will do, I, you know, it's fine. It's just, you know, I probably wouldn't buy them again. But anyways, yeah, we're just going to do these two drawers. Um, again, I'm hoping to make more room because this bottom drawer, I'm hoping to make more room because this bottom drawer right here has all of my like extra foundations, powders, and like my special effects stuff and like my Halloween stuff. So I'm hoping to create another drawer where I can keep all of my like extra face products, like extra complexion products, and then I can just keep all of my like Halloween stuff, my special effects stuff, and just kind of the miscellaneous things in the very, very bottom drawer. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna try to do today. My sweats are disgusting. So let's, let's just start by pulling everything out. So I just have these baskets that I talked about in my first declutter that I just got from Walmart. Um, I have a little silica thing. So I'm gonna take out all of my lipsticks. Okay. Okay, so these are all of my lipsticks that I have right now. And then what I'm hoping to do is I'm hoping to transfer them into these clear containers. So I have these ones that are, you know, long and skinny, like for pencils and things. And then I also have like, these short little ones that I think I could probably use for like the actual like bullet lipsticks. I got the, I got these in like a set from Amazon. So there's a bunch of different sizes. I will link them down below if you guys are curious, but I'm hoping to change up everything into these ones. Um, so yeah, I think what I'm gonna do first is organize them by uh, color and style. Maybe I'll just organize them by lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, and lip glosses first, and then go from there. So this is all just, um, these are all just lip liners, so we'll go through those in a second. But let's, let's just organize it by, by type right now. Okay, so I have glosses right here, lipsticks right here, and liquid lipsticks right here. So let's just start with liquid lipsticks and I'm just gonna go through and see what I want to get rid of. So, so right away I'm gonna get rid of this Black Moon Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade Mortis. This is a really, really beautiful liquid lipstick. It's just really old and there's like just barely anything left. So I'm just gonna go ahead and toss that. Same with this Jeffree Star liquid lipstick. I've literally had this for years and it is completely dried up. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, another Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Deceased. I'm gonna keep it because I'm just gonna use it up and use it off camera. Um, the Color, ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Revier. Smells fine, so I'm gonna keep it because I love these orange colors. Uh, Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Dubai. This is, it's, n no, that kind of smells like plastic. I really, really like this and I really wanna rebuy it. It's such a pale, cool tone nude. I love it, but I think I'm gonna rebuy it because this, it smells funky. It's, I've had it for years. Same with this Ofra Lipstick, Liquid Lipstick in Bordeaux. It's really pretty. It still smells funky though, but 
I really do like Ofra liquid lipsticks. This is a unopened Wet n Wild Mega Cat suit. I'm gonna get rid of this, give it to a friend or somebody because they are no longer cruelty free. Okay, um, NYX Liquid Suede in, what is this, Downtown Beauty. I love this shade, I'm gonna keep it. Um, this is like a metallic liquid suede, but it's really pretty. I'm gonna keep it for now. Um, another liquid suede, I love this for like deep purple lips. Love this one. This is in the shade Oh Put, oh, put It On. This is a Koki Lip Poudre powder, whatever. Um, I haven't opened this one. Should I? Let me open it. Let me see. Because I really do like these. Like, um, this shade is one of my favorite favorites. This is in the shade Infamous. No, that's not the shade that's my favorite. Whimsy. This one is like my favorite. It's like my perfect Your Lips But Better color. They're really nice, so I'm going to keep pretty much all of these Koki lip powders, poudres, whatever, whatever the fuck they're called. They're just really nice. A ton of earthy tones. I like them a lot. Let me see if this color is something that I would wear, though. Mm, okay, it's like a coral color. I don't think I'm gonna use this, so I'm gonna give it to a friend or see if somebody wants it. Maybe do Project Beauty Shares, something like that. Um, NYX Liquid Suede in Foiled again. I love this. It's such a fun, like, coral orange. I'm gonna pretty much keep all of my NYX Liquid Suede's. I really like them, and I just find myself reaching for them if I want, like, especially the fun colored ones. Um, yeah, I just really like them a lot. Another Black Moon Cosmetics in Grim. I haven't used this in a really long time. Um, I think I'm gonna keep it for now because it still smells fine, so I'm just hoping I can just use it up. Um, a couple more Jeffree Star that I'm just going to use up. Um, this is my favorite liquid lipstick. This is my favorite red. This is KVD in Nosferatu. I'm gonna, is this still good? I've had it for a long time. Yeah, smells fine. Smells the same. Still looks moist. I know that word is disgusting. Same with the shade. This is in the shade of Go Go. I love this. This is the most neon orange lipstick in the world. It's so much fun. These are an indie company's liquid lipstick. I honestly haven't used them yet. Uh, I'm not gonna use this color though. This is just not a color that I'm, you know, keen on. And then, can you tell I watch a lot of Shan XO? I am gonna keep this color in the shade MILF. Can you tell I watch a lot of Shan XO? Cause I'm saying things like keen and can't be bothered. And then this is in the shade 90s, baby. I'm definitely gonna keep this. This one looks honestly like a dupe for, come on. This one honestly looks like a dupe for Ofra in Dubai. So I'll keep that for now. I'm keeping all of my Colored Rain. I love Colored Rain liquid lipsticks. They're some of my favorite. The only thing I, the only one I might get rid of is I think I might get rid of these two. This one is just a little too orangey. It's just, I don't really go for like peachy toned nude lips. And then maybe I'll keep this one, but I don't know what it is about this one as opposed to these, but this one is so much more drying than all the rest of them. They are a relatively drying formula, but this one is like especially bad. So this is in the shade Sugar. I don't know if this one is just like old packaging and maybe an old formula, but I just, it's too drying for me. Japanese liquid lipstick, I'm gonna get rid of because it's just strange. I don't even know where you can buy Japanese anymore. Uh, but this shade is really, really pretty. It honestly reminds me a ton of Nosferatu by Kat Von D. Milani, my favorite. I might go out and buy a bunch more of these. The Milani Amore Satins. This one is my top favorite. This is in the shade Lux. This is in the shade Classic and then Elegant. Classic is a 100% dupe for Jeffree Star's Androgyny. This one is a beautiful, like, cool-toned nude lip. And then this is just, like, a gorgeous, hot, like, a gorgeous, like, kind of brick red. I used this in a recent Get Ready With Me. I'm going to keep all of those. And then this is the color Ultra Matte Lip... What? ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Naughty. I'm going to get rid of this because, again, I ordered it not too long ago. Like, I mean, maybe, like, two years ago. It smells fine still, but it's just too peachy on me, and I just don't like peachy toned nude lips. So I'm gonna see if a friend wants this. Okay, let's go with lipsticks. I'm just gonna get rid of these NYX matte lipsticks. I am still holding on to a couple of these. A couple years ago, maybe like three or four years ago, NYX sent me their whole line of three of their lipsticks, and I just, 
I've been holding on to them, but I just literally never reach for them ever. So I'm just gonna get rid of those. And honestly, I think that's it. Well, I might get rid of these too. This, these are the Makeup Geek Iconic lipsticks, and this is another thing that I've been holding on to from when I used to get Makeup Geek PR. These are really nice quality, but they stay in my lips so bad, and I don't know, I just don't, I just don't reach for them. So I think I'm finally gonna say goodbye to these, even though they are really gorgeous. Oh, there's one more. This is in the shade Saucy. This one is gorgeous. It's such a beautiful, deep red, but it stains my lips like nothing else. So I'm gonna say goodbye to her. And then I think that's it. This is a little beauty bakery sample that I was given for Christmas. Um, this is a Milani lipstick and I am bold. No, I am radiant. Um, this is ColourPop in Layover. This is a really pretty, like kind of deeper nude. And then these are all Buxom Full Force lipsticks. I really, really like these. These are really new to me. I'm gonna keep them all. Um, so they sent me all, most of these are like their 90s nude collection and then this is just in the shade White Russian um, that they sent me. But these are all so pretty, comfortable on the lips. Um, I really, really like them. So I'm gonna keep all of them because they're brand new and I like them all. And I like them all. Finally, glosses. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be getting rid of a ton here either. I really like a lot of these or a lot of these are relatively new. Okay, immediately, First, I'm gonna keep my ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie. These are, hello, can you focus? ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie. These are pretty new to me and they're gorgeous. I love them. Um, I'm gonna keep pretty much all, the, a lot of these Buxom ones are new to me, like almost brand new to me. So all of these full size Buxoms I'm gonna keep and I love Buxom lip glosses. They're probably my favorite lip gloss formula. Okay, I am gonna get rid of one of these just because they're both very, very similar kind of like bronzy glosses. I think I'm gonna get rid of the shade Hazel because this one's a little bit more pinky and I just, I'm not really into copper ones. So I'm gonna get rid of that one, see if a friend wants it. And then this is the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights gloss in Moonchild. Really pretty, but just smells kind of off and I don't use it a lot. It just has a lot of like gold in it, which I just don't really go for. And then, I think I'm gonna keep all these little buxom babies. I, again, I just, I love buxom glosses and these are all just so pretty and I just, I can't part with them. I love them so much. Definitely gonna keep both of my ColourPop So, Ju so Juicy glosses. These are just gorgeous and so comfortable and fun on the lips. Honestly, dupes for buxom glosses. They're so nice. I think I'm gonna get rid of this Koki lip veneer. I've just never really used it or reached for it. I think I'm gonna keep this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. It's just like one of those like almost blue tinted ones. I don't know, It just it's just fun to have. Who knows, who knows when I'll want it. And then, oh, a cultural icon. Bare Minerals Gen Nude Gloss in Groovy. This is really old. Yeah, it smells like straight up plastic, which it used to smell like vanilla. So I'm gonna get rid of it. I might rebuy this though, because these are stunning. I love them so much. Okay, so now I have everything that I'm keeping. So now I wanna decide how I'm going to organize everything. I think for my liquid lipsticks, I'm gonna first just organize them by shade. Okay, so I have light nudes, deeper nudes, um, dark reds or dark like purples, and then I have like oranges and reds. So that's kind of how I'm organizing them. So I'm gonna take, actually, I think I'm gonna switch you guys around and start tossing them in the drawer. Okay, so I have my little containers set into the drawer, I think how I want it. So I'm just going to start Filling them up, see how this is gonna work.
Okay, I think I have it all organized. So this is, these are all of my short lip glosses, my short lipsticks, nude glosses, nude lips and lipsticks, darker nudes, brights, and deep shades. So I think, I think that's it. I just need, oh, I forgot about my lip liners. Let's figure out the lip liner situation real quick. Okay, my camera overheated, so I just kind of like rearranged things. So I have my darker shades towards the back and then it gets lighter as far as like lipsticks and liquid lipsticks go. And then I added another tray for my lip glosses and then I put them right here. And then I put the little small cubes right here and then I added this one to put my lip liners in. So I don't have a ton of lip liner and I'm not, whoop, I don't have a ton. Okay, this sounds like, this looks like a lot of lip liner, but I don't know. I feel like it's all relative. And I don't think I'm going to get rid of a ton. I am going to get rid of this buxom one because I just never, ever, ever reach for it. And then I'm going to get rid of these steely style ones because you just can't get it anymore. I'm also going to get rid of this essence one because I never use it. Steely style, steely style. And then the rest of these are pretty much all NYX and a couple BH cosmetics. I don't use lip liner a lot and I don't really care a ton for lip liner. Um, so I don't really, I don't know. I just, they're just there in case I need them. But this is now, this is now the finished drawer. I, I mean, it's not necessarily satisfying because it's still kind of messy and like, I wish these were longer so that they fit everything nicely. I also had to move the Rob Beauty Christie ones over here because my drawers wouldn't shut with them standing up. But I don't know. I like that it's all, like all of my lipsticks are now in one drawer now. So, you know, I, I think it's, it's fine. It's fine for now. And yeah, and now I have one drawer of just all lipsticks. So now let's move on to the next drawer. Okay, so this is my next drawer. Um, I don't think I'm gonna necessarily like really declutter it. I think I'm just gonna change it into my new organizer. I should wipe down the inside of these drawers, but they really honestly aren't that dirty. They're just like a little dusty. So I think I'm just going to switch over my things into here. So I just moved everything that I'm going to keep into this drawer. So these are all ColourPop gel glitters, um, the Robbie D. Christie ones. I'm getting rid of these two Robbie D. Christie ones just because I won't use them. So we'll see if a friend wants them. The green one and the bronze one. Those are just shades I don't necessarily use. Some ColourPop, some Urban Decay, some Profusion and like my glitter adhesive. There's also Urban Decay glitter in here. Um, and then just like gel liners and a loose glitter that I use relatively frequently. And then... This is everything I'm getting rid of. There's a random buxom gloss in here that I will move to a different um, container. I'm actually going to keep these two Koki Crystal Fusion things because I haven't used them yet. That's not necessarily pretty, but that's okay. And then NYX Vivid Brights, um, a Koki eyeliner that I don't use anymore. Oh, I'm going to keep this Urban Decay 24-7. Um, ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in White I will keep. Uh, liquid eyeliner in white. This is just so crusty all the time. And then Steely Style Liquid Metals obviously you can't get anymore, so I'm going to declutter all of this. Okay, and then I'm going to take all of my extra and like back stock of foundations and powders and I'm going to move them up here. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna have to mess around with this for a minute. Okay, so I basically put all of my foundations that I want to keep but I don't use all the time in this container. Um, and there's also foundations that are just like too dark for me that I can't use right now before I'm fake tanned. And these are all like powders that I want to keep but I don't use every day. So like these are CoverGirl, CoverGirl. There's some um, translucent powders that I don't 
like but I feel like there's always a use for translucent powder sometimes so I like to keep one on hand and then the elf halo glow and then the Milani setting powder and then there's just a couple elf compacts back there I really like these um I don't know I'm just holding on to them for now so that's is that it is that it and then this bottom drawer now is all kind of a mess but like this is kind of gonna turn into not my junk drawer but again these are all gonna be like more theatrical makeup more um this is a backup of the urban decay d slick can i fit this up here eh. There. I say? You will. Okay, I just put that back there. Um, but yeah, this is all just like my Halloween makeup, my special effects makeup, any drag makeup, like all just kind of my etc. drawer. So I'm glad that I have this finally just all empty and nice. And I think. I think that's I think that's it. So then we just have these two top drawers that I'm gonna do. I'm waiting on some organizers for these top drawers, but this is all highlighters and then this is blush and bronzer. But again, I'm waiting on um, some new organizers to come for those. Whew. And that's it. We got rid of a decent little pile here, and I feel I feel accomplished. Um, so yeah, that's that's the next part of my declutter. Give this video a thumbs up so I know that you like declutters and I will film my last part of this declutter and then I might declutter these because this is where I keep a lot. Like this bin has all the rest of my eyeshadow palettes that like I can't get rid of yet but I probably should. And then uh, yeah, so I might just keep doing declutters. These are really, really fun and I think they're really satisfying. They're some of my favorite videos to watch. So yeah, um, keep an eye out for my next declutter. Give this one a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss my next declutter. And that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!